I've spent the last four years watching people die. Nothing in my adult life prepared me for the carnage of HIV-AIDS. In July of this year, I was traveling in Kenya, visiting an association of women living with AIDS in a slum suburb of the city of Nairobi. The slum was teeming with orphans being cared for by the women left alive. In every such instance, there's always some kind of performance for the visitors, as though the encounter would be incomplete or marred without it. We gathered outside one of the crumbling homes where six children, ranging in age from five to 12, wearing ragged green school uniforms, chanted the largely tuneless funereal dirge of their own composition. Here we are, the orphans, carrying our parents in their coffins to their graves. The song ended with the words, help, help, help. On February 22nd, the team of four CSTD volunteers traveled 12,600 kilometers from Toronto to Kenya. They are Allison Alexander, Vice President of Global Performance Solutions at Metrics Group. Mary Lou DiPaolo, Coach and Organizational Development Consultant. Peter Taylor, President of Peter Taylor & Associates. And Lee Garrity, Business Development Manager at Prospero Learning Solutions. The four facilitators spent their first week getting oriented in their communities and preparing for their first week of training. The six programs accommodated 12 participants each. Three were delivered in Mombasa and three in Malindi. Workshop participants were young women and men who volunteer in their communities to educate and raise awareness about important issues like reducing the spread of HIV AIDS. Ranging in age from late teens to mid-twenties, these energetic bright young people participated actively through the five-day course. There were readings, workshops, activities involving pairs and small groups, and a major final presentation. The course was designed and contributed by St. Francis Xavier and provides students with skills and techniques to design, develop and deliver training programs in their communities. For many, this is also an opportunity to build up their resume as they search for work and opportunities to continue their education. During the weekends between sessions, the facilitators were invited by their students to participate in various community-based activities. So what I did, I, 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 I take some of my friends who we were schooling together during the high school and we come up with a community drama group. It was a theatre group within the community. And the idea was to use theatre as a tool of communication because in the community there was a lot of things which I realised the community were doing a lot of mess, especially on issues of HIV AIDS. People were getting HIV AIDS, having sex without knowing that they, 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 they risk themselves. And it's because the knowledge and uh, information of HIV AIDS within the community was still very low during that time. So we decided to come up with the drama group so that we can use theatre as a tool of communication to communicate is uh, social issues which are affecting the community so that they can be aware about everything so that they can take care of themselves and make sure they make right decisions when they're doing things. Uh, tremendous work of success because uh, with the youth that we've been working with, they can see like there is a transform of behavior, not fully, but there are indicators that show us like these guys are more like responsible, more like working towards their own objectives to life, towards life their focus, like in schools.
Jani Fahariatu Undogundi on Guru Chukina Ukabila Hatutaki Hatakamwe Lazima to Jenga Tuanuanchiatu Pasi we hatamoja Anha etenganishwa Naishi Natumaini Najitale daima Kenya Hakika ya bendera Ni uthabiti wangu Nye usia mwana mchina Nye kundu ni adamu Kijani ni ya ardhi Nye upe ya amani Nye ima mimi mkenya Mwana nchi mzalendo Kwa uchungu na mateso Kwa vilio na usuni Tulinya kuli wa huru Na mashuja wa zamani Hawa kushushwa na risasi Hawa kufungwa gera at the end of each five-day session, students presented their final presentations. They chose their own topics, which ranged from personal hygiene, drug and alcohol abuse, and AIDS stigma, to how to use a condom. Many have gone on to adapt these presentations for delivery in their communities. The full cohort of graduates in each city gathered for the final graduation ceremony, where local community leaders offered their congratulations and words of encouragement and of course, diplomas were presented. Um, I'm told you're undergoing a training, and Kasena, this is very unfair. You should have invited me. I wouldn't mind to be a trainer of trainers, and I would have gotten a certificate. <laughs> but I want to tell you something, those who are trained. I'm told the candle that lights another candle does not lose its light. And then the party followed.